Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Rujai. Today we are discussing the topic of building effective teams and teamwork. Please listen to PowerPoint presentation. And as always, I will come back at the end of presentation to highlight key points of the topic. Building effective teams and teamwork. Agenda. Developing teams and teamwork. Team development. Leading teams. Team membership. Objectives of this chapter are Understanding of the importance of team development stages and their impact on team performance. Important tasks to be performed as a leader of a team. Importance of various roles of team members. Factors to be considered while giving feedback to increase team effectiveness. Developing teams and teamwork. Following are the attributes of effective teams. Effective teams have coordinated and interactive efforts of all its members. Effective teams help members to be more efficient working together than alone. Effective teams function so well that they create their own magnetism. In effective teams leadership responsibility often rotates and gets shared. In effective teams, members care for and nurture one another. Effective teams are reinforced by mutual encouragement. Effective teams have a high level of trust among members. Team development any team passes through four stages of development starting from team formation to fully functional high-performing team. At every stage dynamics within the team changes, it is very important to direct and manage each stage properly to convert a team into highly effective team. Four team development stages are Forming Norming Storming Performing Stage 1, Forming In this stage first time all team members come together, feeling of integrity is missing as team members don't know each other. This is also the period in which members form opinions of their teammates. Task of the team in this stage is less focused on producing an output than on developing the team itself. First task in this stage is to ensure that team members know each other and their questions are answered. Team members should be facilitated to establish trust and relationships with each other and the leader. It is important to establish clarity of purpose, norms, procedures, and expectations in this stage. During this stage, productivity is low. Teams tend to flounder later if above-mentioned challenges are not adequately managed. Stage 2, Norming In the second stage the team members become acquainted with each other and the organization's goals. Team members become contented with team membership and begin to value team's goals more than their own personal goals. Individual needs are met through the team's accomplishments. In this stage teams become cohesive and highly integrated entities, they have tendency to preserve high involvement and good feeling at the expense of all else, which leads to the problem of group thinking. In group think members assume that success will continue and members disregard deviant viewpoints. This increases errors in decision making. For addressing this problem. At least one team member should act as decision evaluator or critic. Encourage open discussion. Create subgroups. Invite outside experts. Avoid too much homogeneity in discussion. Organize second meeting to revisit the decisions made. Stage 3, Storming. In stage 3 the team members are comfortable with each other. They start exploring different roles, 
this differentiation gives different perspectives to members and hence conflicts may arise. Team membership focus from building the team and accomplishing objectives to fostering change and improvement. Team members compete for position as they attempt to establish themselves in relation to other team members and the leader. Tendency of group thinking is less in this stage. There will be disagreements with team leader or among team members but it is important to convert these conflicts into constructive and productive outcomes. To manage this stage effectively one should focus on Managing conflicts Legitimizing productive expressions of individuality Turning counter-dependence into interdependence Fostering consensus building processes Stage 4, Performing Stage 4 performing represents highly effective communication and efficient team functioning among the team members. Relationships between team members are not limited to accomplishing a task together but also extend to ensuring that each team member is learning, developing, and improving along the process. Communication between the team members is open and supportive and they interact without fear of rejection. High-performing team members take responsibility individually for continuously improving the team and meeting the goals. Team members adopt following behavior to foster the development. Supporting new ideas and ways for achieving outcomes. Innovation and continuous improvement. Flourishing relationships. Developing team members to their fullest potential. Leading teams Leader plays important role to create elements of effective teams such as, interdependence, efficiency, magnetism, shared responsibility, positive energy, mutual encouragement and trust. Skills, abilities, tools, and techniques used by the leader make effective teams. Two important aspects of team leadership are Developing credibility and influence among team members. Establishing motivating vision and goals for the team. Establishing credibility. To work in a team it is important for the leader as well as the team members to establish credibility. This can be achieved by following these simple steps. Demonstrating integrity to other members of the team. Being clear and consistent. Creating positive energy and staying optimistic. Using commonality and reciprocity. Managing agreement and disagreement. Encouraging and coaching other members. Sharing information. Establishing smart and Everest goals. To achieve high performance goals should be difficult, specific, measurable, aligned, realistic and time bounded. Everest goals are beyond normal goal setting, they represent extraordinary accomplishment or ultimate achievement. Everest goals relate to profound passion, they build team spirit, engages people and create positive energy and excitement. Achieving Everest goals requires extraordinary efforts and little luck. Team Membership Teams become high-performing due to the roles played by team members. In this section two main skills are discussed associated with team membership. Playing advantageous roles Providing helpful feedback to others Advantageous roles Working in a team faces the following challenges. 1. Accomplishing the task that has been assigned. 2. Building unity and collaboration among the team members. Two types of roles exist that enhance team performance. They can be categorized as Task facilitated roles relationship building roles 
Task Facilitating Roles The most common task facilitating roles in a team are Direction Giving Developing plans and procedures for the tasks assigned Information Giving or Seeking Asking for Clarifications Elaborating Providing examples and illustrations Urging Directing members' efforts back to the task. Monitoring. Monitoring performance and identifying necessary corrections. Process analyzing. Analyzing process and procedures used by the team in order to improve efficiency and timeliness. Reality testing. Checking if the plan is practical. Enforcing. Enforcing norms. Summarizing. Combining ideas and summing up points made by the team. Relationship building roles. Most common relationship building roles in a team are. Supporting. Crediting others' ideas and efforts. Harmonizing. Mediating conflicts. Tension relieving. Relieving tension with humor or other diversions. Confronting. Challenging inappropriate interpersonal exchanges. Energizing. Exuding enthusiasm and encouraging others. Developing. Assisting others to learn, grow, and achieve. Consensus building. Encouraging agreements, and helping interactions to be smooth. Empathizing. Reflecting group feelings and experiencing empathy and support for team members. Providing feedback. Focus on behavior not on the person. Focus feedback on observation and specific instances not on inferences. Feedback should be more in terms of sharing ideas and information than giving advice. Amount of feedback should be just enough for recipient to act, excess or less amount creates confusion and misunderstandings. Focus feedback on the value it may have to the receiver. Proper time and place should be selected to give feedback. Conclusion Success of the team depends on individual team members' performance and synchronization of team members to achieve objective. To achieve effective performing stage it is very important to manage and direct team members properly through forming, norming and storming stages. Team leader plays important role in making effective teams, he or she should focus on developing credibility and setting appropriate goals to improve productivity. As a team member one has to facilitate task performance and develop good relationship with the team members. Providing timely, accurate and effective feedback is important to help the team member perform better. Hello again. In today's interactive work environment, it is hard to find any position that you will be working alone. So creating an effective team and understanding many challenges any team would face would be critical for success of any project. Due to globalization, most companies these days have diverse workforce, consisting of people from many different cultural and a religious background, which makes having an effective team even more challenging and difficult. To be able to create an effective and productive team, all members of team must learn and respect other members' viewpoints. As engineering manager, it is very important to play a leadership role when creating teams of diverse personalities. Remember that several diverse minds coming together create more effective result than one mind working alone.